What's up everybody, I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can glitch out of pretty much any map, anywhere you want, wherever you want in Pokemon Brick Bronze. This seriously is probably one of the better glitches that have ever been found and I guess that you could probably say that Troy could possibly be the original founder of this. I'm not too sure uh, to be honest because I don't know, Troy hasn't really told me about it but I know that Troy has found a kind of like glitch that you need to do to make this glitch work. So yeah, I guess that this glitch is Troy's. So Troy, awesome job, dude. Thank you very much. You've just made a lot of people very happy. Now, the great thing about this glitch, guys, is that anybody can do it. Anybody, look at all these guys. You guys are amazing. I'm a big fan, fake plays, there's no space. This guy's got a YouTube channel, apparently. Go and go and check him out, guys. You know, it's, it's nice to check people out. And uh, look at this dude, he's like Lando. He looks like Lando. Hello there, Lando. How do you do? Um, but anyway, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pretty much glitch out of any map that you want on Pokemon Brick Bronze. It's very simple to do, and um, yeah, it can actually do, it can actually like make for a lot of cool glitches and uh, a lot of awesome things to happen. Uh, but before we get into the actual guide itself, guys, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it. Uh, let's see if we can get this video to, hmm, uh, maybe like 500 likes. That would be pretty awesome. And if we do get to 1,000, thousand likes on it I will try and do a video of star baby actually playing this game for the first time ever uh, this weekend when he comes to stay with me uh, so that'll be pretty cool too and um, but anyway let us get into today's video guys so the first thing that we want to actually do is we want to go and fly uh, pretty much to Anthean City Anthean City is where we need to start off this glitch now bear with me as I may actually do this wrong once or twice um, because you know I haven't done this glitch in quite some time and I really should have practiced beforehand, but there's a lot of stuff going on at my house right now And uh, yeah, it's it's just like, you know, it's one of those things. Look at these guys. They're following me. Ah, get away from me Look at Lando. Why is he running like he's pooped his pants? What the heck Lando clean your pants you poopy butthole? Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so once we actually get to Antian City, we want to go into the Antian Shopping District and then turn left at the Loco El Lucado blah 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 blah. I don't know what it's called, but we want to turn left right there uh, and go towards the Housing District, guys. Now, unfortunately, for this glitch, you actually do need to have any apartment. It doesn't matter what apartment it is, you just need to make sure that you have an apartment. Uh, the great thing is that one of the cheapest apartments actually cost around about 500 Poké Dollars, which is like... Wow, that's so cheap. It's very cheap anyway, guys. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to do is go to the golden Pokeball right here. Look at this guy. He's he's just, She's breaking up with this guy. He's not happy. She's laughing. She's like, I cheated on you with your pet chinchilla. Oh. Um, okay, so um, once we get into the golden Pokeball, we are going to go over to uh, this way right here towards the arcade. Uh, just like so guys and uh, once we're in the arcade what we want to do is we kind of just want to get our camera angle around about like looking this way and have the play button right there and what we're going to do is go to menu pokemon and then we're also going to click the play button so ah uh, can i get that there you go okay i click play now what's actually happening is that uh, i'm actually playing the arcade machine whilst i've got this little menu open which is kind of crazy right guys so as you can see i've just died in the arcade game but i can still walk around I can still walk around with all this stuff on. How crazy is that? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go outside with the fly menu. And um, once we get outside, we're just going to keep on going. So let's, let's keep on going outside to this area. And then once you're outside, you should see you still have all of this available right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I don't know whether I, I should click fly. Should I be clicking it? I think I should. So you click fly and then you go back in to the actual thing itself. Uh, so as you can see, I'm, I've went back into my, um, my, my Pokeball room thing. And what I'm going to do now is go to my room. Now, like I said, you don't have to have the golden Pokeball. You can just go back to your apartment somewhere, go inside and click your room. And uh, once we've done that, as you can see right here, um, we can actually like kind of do stuff, I guess. We can walk around, but we can also still click that we want to, uh, you know, kind of kind of hosey on out of here. So what I'm going to do really quickly is, can I click on this? No, I can't. Huh. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is, let's say, for example, we want to go and glitch out of... Hmm, where's a good place to glitch out of? Do you know what? I'm actually going to try Rose Cove City, because Rose Cove is not actually a bad place to glitch, to be honest. Um, 
Yeah, let's see. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click fly and go to Rose Cove City guys uh, So as you can see I flew away on my little blue birdie thingy and uh, now I'm able to actually walk around inside of Rose Cove like like this basically now the great thing about this is that I can actually go and click my decorate tool and um, Now that I click that I can actually go and uh, place down a couple of things uh, So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place down Hmm, let's see is this a is that a chair? I think it is. Okay, so what we can actually do is we can actually click and put down, like, our things. So, for example, if I want to click that there, I can place it there, right? Now, there's a really cool thing about this. It's because when you click it and move it again, if you drag it over your body, you will actually teleport to where you placed it. So, let's see. There you go. So, I'm actually doing it right now. And then what you want to do is you basically would just want to kind of click off your hoverboard, like so. Uh, I don't know why I'm floating. Oh, jeez, why am I floating? I think it's because it still thinks that this is here. Okay, what if I if I jump off? Can I jump off this? I should be able to. Come on, what's going on? I'm pretty sure I, I should be able to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something different. Okay, so um, I, this is probably not the best example of where you can actually do this glitch. Uh, but let's see, if I grab it again and actually move my camera angle up, I can actually then place this right Right, right. Oh, 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 Jesus, come on. What are you doing to me, game? Please, just let me place it down. There you go. Uh, you let me place it down, please. Why is it not letting me place it down? Come on. There you go. Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Thank you, game. Thank you. I think it's just basically ruined this glitch for me. Has it just ruined it? Because I can't see it anymore. Um, yeah, I think I've ruined it here. Uh, can I even- oh wait, no, can I- can I get that from here? Can I get that? No! It's ruined it for me! Um, okay, so I kind of messed that one up. I guess that I'm a- I'm going to go to originally where I kind of thought that it would be better to do it anyway. So we're going to go through here, um, and I will give you guys a much better kind of, um, a better kind of look at what you can do with this glitch. Uh, hopefully, the majority of you right now kind of get the gist of how to do this and uh, how it, how it's pretty cool. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on a chair again. Uh, so, let's see. It's, um, which chair was it? It was this one? Yeah, it was this one right here. Now, why is there a barrier? Okay, no, there's not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can place it. Oh, I can actually place it on the vine right there. That's pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. I can place it on a vine. Okay. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Uh, where should I actually place it? Like, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I should... Pl Do you know what? We're going to place it on the vine. We're going to click move. And then we're going to hover over it. And as you can see, I, I've placed it on the vine. And uh, now I'm kind of floating. Uh, which is pretty cool. But now what I can actually do is I can select to put it somewhere else. So, um, I guess like... Why is it only letting me put it there? What the heck? This is kind of confusing sometimes, this glitch. It really is. Oh, oh, it, oh, oh. It's like very, you have to get like very, very good with it. It's 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 kind of hard sometimes to get certain places. Uh, maybe up here, I guess. Oh, I just have one. There it is, right there. Okay, so as you can see, I clicked it. And uh, what I'm going to do is back out of here a little bit. So now I should be able to click that, but it's not letting me. I think there it's because there's a barrier in front of me. So you kind of do have to be very careful at where you're trying to do this glitch because it can be very difficult. Um, so wait there a second. Let's see. Menu. I'm going to click bag. And I'm just going to really quickly use a max repel so that I don't bump into any Pokemon because I don't want this guide going longer than it should do. Um, but basically, I should be able to click it now. Oh, no. No. Jesus, this is very hard because there's so many barriers in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Uh, they do they do actually do a pretty okay job of like trying to like uh, make it hard for people to glitch out of. Uh, okay, so let's try it somewhere else, right? Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see. So if I try it right, um, maybe we can try it on top of here. There you go. Try it there. Okay, so there you go. I made it perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually like. Uh, we're gonna like, uh, let's see, we press X. Oh no! No! No, no, that was not at all how it was meant to be. Oh no, oh no. I'm now glitched in the floor. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's go back to where that was. Okay, so it was there. So we have to click decorate. Oh, I know why I couldn't move anything. Oh, okay, I was doing it wrong all the time. Okay, so can I get on top of here? 
I really hope I can. So if I just kind of keep on moving up a little bit, it should like eventually kind of move me on top and I should be able to fly on top of there. Um, please, what are you doing game? Why is it just making me go up? Is this like a new way to like, what? Is this like a new way to like elevate ourselves above the map or something? If like somebody had enough spare time, you could probably get to the very top of the like, the, the, the everything. Oh, oh. Oh, that was pretty cool. Okay, so um, basically now I'm on top of this thing right here. And what I can actually do is I can click on this. Um, I can click on this. Oh my god, there's there's my apartment over there. There's my apartment! Okay, so what I can actually do is I can again uh, go into this and kind of move it to wherever I want. So let's say, for example, I want to be over there now. Um, I actually can. I mean, obviously, it takes a little time to kind of get used to it and everything like that. Come on, it takes a little time. It really does. Oh, there you go. I did it. Okay, so then I move it over there. I press R to get on my board. Click the little red arrow. And then I'm able to, like, move about and stuff like that. Um, I think because I'm kind of, like, in this thing, I need to kind of, like, need to, like, get on top of it like this so that I can actually move. Let me see. How does this work? Like, how do I, like, it's very, it, this is very confusing. Uh, so if I get off that and then click that... Oh, there you go. Okay, so yeah, it's it, it, it kind of works the way I want it to. Anyway, um, let's see if we can try and put this on top of the Yav Yavata Lalava tree. I don't know what it's called. It's called something tree anyway. I don't really know. Um, okay, it doesn't look like we can actually put it on top. I don't know exactly where the barrier of this tree is. Like you basically... Oh, I found it. Oh my god, I found the I found the barrier. I found the barrier. Now we're on top of the tree. How crazy is this? Oh, I wonder if we will find the Pokemons. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is now I'm on my hoverboard. I'm going to click the X thing. Oh my god, I found a new super launch. Oh my god. And we are actually on top of the tree. We are on top of the Yavatal tree. Oh my lord. What is this all about? This is amazing. See what I mean, guys? This glitch is amazing. It's so cool. And the best thing about it is anyone can do this glitch. It doesn't have to cost Robux, nothing like that. Basically, all you need is a hoverboard, some polka dollars, and the ability to kind of uh, find out exactly where barriers are and everything like that. Like, so example, I, you know, the barrier was up here. Like, it's an invisible barrier. So you have to kind of find the invisible barrier. And it can take some time, but... If it works out in your favor, you will be on top of this tree like me. Look at that. And you can do this on any map too. That's what's absolutely crazy about this. It's it's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy good. It's crazy awesome. That's what it is. Um, but basically, I want to try and test this in as many places I, as I actually can. And uh, I want to actually show you guys a couple of guides. So if you do want to see more videos like this of me testing this new glitch in different areas, please let me know in the comment section below. I will get on it and give me some suggestions of where I should try it. Because I know I, you guys love glitch videos and I love making them. You know, glitching is a very good, um, awesome passion and hobby for me. I love kind of trying to break games as much as I can, uh, as long as it doesn't affect the multiplayer or actually break 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 the game uh, then I'm happy because uh, I've been doing this for so many years now it's amazing um, but anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed today's video on the probably one of the best glitches in Pokemon Brick Bronze right now and uh, yeah I do hope that you will uh, check out my channel for more glitches videos guides on Pokemon Brick Bronze in the future um, so yeah anyway if you do use this make sure to send me a tweet uh, to my Twitter that like the tweet is on screen right now go and check it out and uh, yeah guys have a very awesome day until next time i've been star lord oh see ya